What's going on YouTube? It's the end of the year. There's a lot of sales going on, so you might be looking for a case, but no matter what time you're watching this video, check my link down below. I'll leave a link to all of these cases and they're always on sale, especially now. So check my link down below for the most up-to-date, relevant, and cheapest prices available. I've been using the 14 Pro series since it came out and I've reviewed a ton of cases. I'll leave a playlist down in my description as well. But there are a couple cases that I've always come back to during my tenure with the 14 Pro and I'll get to those top three at the end of this video. But I've kind of separated them out into clear cases, leather cases, thin cases, protective cases, fancy cases. There's a lot of cases. Let's get into my top favorite for the iPhone 14 series and see what they're all about. Cases are like that favorite article of clothing that you keep going back to over and over again just because you like the way it fits, you like the way it feels, and over time it just gets worn and more comfortable. I find cases to be that same way. I always reach for a specific case and I always keep a specific case on, so don't mind the beauty marks or scratches on any of these cases. I actually do use them. Now let's start with some clear cases and I have to give, I have to give Pivot the runner up for this because it's a new company and I really like the design of this case. You can see that camera protection is on point. You're getting a really nice amount of camera protection. They did an awesome job designing this case in terms of the protection, the feel, the look, the design. But the only reason this isn't getting the top award is because this MagSafe ring is just a little bit too high up. You can see it's basically going into that camera protection right there. So a lot of my MagSafe accessories just don't fit. You can see that here, it's kind of just sliding off. Now I did bring that to their attention and they said they were gonna fix it in the next iteration and the next run of these cases. So I hope they did fix it. Pivot if you're watching, let me know if you've fixed that design flaw. Send me out another case and I'll re-review it because this would have been my top favorite case. Now, just taking a look at the front lip protection. You're getting a decent amount of front lip protection here, but the whole point about this case was just that awesome amount of rear camera protection and just the feel and just the look. I really like this Pivot case. Now, the next one we're gonna take a look at is the OtterBox Symmetry. And again, this is an awesome case for any of you looking for, looking for a clear case that's gonna give you a nice amount of protection. OtterBox always does a really nice job with their protection. So you can see that front lip protection as they give you the 360 bird's eye view, just a little bit more than the Pivot case. And all of these cases that I'm showing you are tempered glass ready, so they are playing very nicely with my white stone dome glass here. And you can see that rear camera protection. Again, not as much as the Pivot case, just kind of look at that. The pivot case designed an awesome protection for those cameras, but you're still getting enough, still getting enough protection there when it comes to the OtterBox symmetry case. And the ring is on point. Now I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do MagSafe tests for all of them. If they don't work, I will point it out. But the, the magnet's really strong, and again, they designed a nice, a nice looking case in my opinion for those of you that like a clear case. So again, this is the OtterBox Symmetry, not slippery, really nice in the hand as well, super, super clear. So this is gonna get the second, second runner-up award for a clear case. My absolute favorite case though, when it comes to a clear protective case is from Mouse. And this is their Limitless 5.0 case. And this is just a case that I use more and more than any of these other cases, especially since I have the black iPhone 14 Pro. It just looks really, really nice with the black borders, with the black bezel, and again, you're getting a nice amount of protection. You can see that front lip protection here. This is the Limitless 5.0 case. Definitely a nice, a nice looking case in my opinion. And again, I think it's because of all the black outlines. They did a nice job designing this case. And you can see that camera, that camera protection on the back is a little bit funky, but they're still doing a really nice job. I, I like it. I like that it's a little bit different and you're still getting a lot of protection on the outer and top layer. And this is where if you did drop it, your camera would fall on that section. There's no way that the camera would fall on the intersection, guys. So again, a lot of people mention that camera protection is a little funky, but I like a little funkiness as long as it still protects. So this is getting my top award for a clear case. If you guys are looking for an awesome clear case, look at the Mouse Limitless 5.0. Let's move on to another category. Again, I'm not doing this in any particular order, but let's move on to leather. And I got to give Nomad the, the award here when it comes to a leather case. This is just a very, very nice looking case. You can get different colors and the smell. Oh, so sweet. I really love a nice smelling leather case and it just feels super nice, super premium in the hand. Now again, this is gonna be more of like a minimalist type of case, but you're still getting a lot of nice protection. You can see that camera protection on the back there. And with the modern leather case, you get this really nice soft material, soft TPU like material on the sides. So this is a grippy case as well, and you can see the power button has some ridges on it. So they designed a very nice and comfortable feeling case. 
Nomad's cases are top notch. Nomad cases are premium no matter which one you pick up. But the modern leather case is one of my favorites again. This is what I use when I'm, when I'm out and I want to be a little bit fancy. The smell is really premium. The sides feel super nice in the hand again thanks to this TPU material on the side here. And it is matte so it does give you a nice feel in the hand. Moving on to the next leather case is a folio case. I like a folio case from time to time and again I got to give this to Nomad. It's basically the modern leather case, a full-fledged case. Some, some folio cases cheap out and they give you an open top, open side, open bottom, etc, etc. But Nomad gives you a full-fledged case with their folio design. And again, it just smells really, really nice. And it's just a super awesome and super premium case that, that I actually like, again, from time to time. Because I don't have to take my wallet out. I can put a few cards in here. I can put a little bit of cash in the middle as well. And it just snaps into place just like that. So again... I think the award for leather, both of these cases are from Nomad. Both of these cases are awesome. So if you're looking for a leather case, whether it's just a, a regular open, open front type of case or a folio, definitely check out Nomad. They're one of my favorite case manufacturers. They're just really, really premium. And it's going to last for a while. And you're going to get that nice patina on leather, which is what I like after time. So again, this is the Nomad folio case. Let me know what you think about these cases so far. Let's move on to the next category. And before you guys ask, all of these cases are MagSafe and wireless charge ready. I never buy a case that's not MagSafe ready. That's just, that's just a no-no and I don't suggest that you guys do it. But there is one case in the lineup that is not MagSafe ready, but I still got to give it a notable mention. Let's move on to the next category and that's going to be the thin minimalist type of case. I know a lot of you out there want to keep your phone as thin as possible. And this is the Pataka Mag Easy Case 3, and I think it's just a nice design. Again, you get this aramid fiber, and you also get a nice amount of camera protection as well. Now, this is one of those cases that I like to call the snap-on type of design. So you have the exposed buttons on, on both sides there. You have the exposed bottom and the exposed top. This is not a case that I'd recommend if you're super clumsy or if you're, if you're on a major metropolitan area riding mass transit on a daily basis. Because as you can see, there's basically no front lip protection on this case. Again, it's for those of you that drive everywhere that are super careful with your devices, but you can't beat a nice aramid fiber and you can't beat this nice weave design on the back. It just feels really nice. And again, it keeps your phone really, really slim and light. So I like this case when I want to keep it when I want to keep it a little bit on the lighter side. But number one, when it comes to a minimalist type of case, I like a little bit more protection. And again, that's just because I live in New York City. I live somewhere where people are constantly bumping into you. So I'm always up for a little bit extra protection, guys. And that's why I have to give the award to Rhino Shield's Crash Guard series. You can change the frame out. You can change everything about this case, even the buttons. So in terms of a, a customizable, minimalist type of case, I really like this Crash Guard series. And you can see you're getting a nice amount of front lip protection. Again, for a minimalist type of case, I think that you're getting a very nice amount of protection here. And the back is definitely protected. You can see that frame, that customizable frame juts out just enough to protect those cameras. So I really like this case. And you, you definitely feel that it's a thinner case in the hand. You can feel the premium materials of your iPhone as well. So the award goes to the Crash Guard series in my opinion. I think it's a really nice case once again. I'm all about customization. If you've been following my channel for a while, I'm all about watch face customizations. I'm all about phone customizations. And that also means cases. Just look at these buttons. I mean, you're guaranteed never to see another Crash Guard series exactly like yours if you've customized it. So I think this is a nice option again for a minimalist type of case. Let me know what you think about this case down in the comments below. Now it's time to move on to another category. And that's what I call the premium category because number one, I spent a lot of money on my iPhone and I want a case that's going to make me feel premium every time I pick it up. So let's take a look at the Case Defy Ultra Impact case. And these are super customizable as well. You can go on their website and you can customize the design. They have about a thousand different designs. Now check my link down below. I have some coupons down there as well to help you guys save a little bit of coin. But what I like about this case is it definitely feels really nice and premium and it's just a it's just a really nice way to showcase your own type of your own type of flair on your case. And you can see on the sides as well, you get these extra raised bumpers. So you're getting a lot of nice protection from this premium case as well. And the front lip protection, definitely on point. So they designed a super nice protective case. I believe the impact protection is about 12 foot on this ultra impact. So again, this is the Ultra Impact from Case Defy, and, and any of these Case Defies, even the bounce case that we're going to see in a little bit, give you a lot of nice protection. And it is a case that, again, feels premium in the hand. It just, it's just a very nice, well-made case. 
The next case we're gonna take a look at is also from Pataka, and this is their Mag Easy Case Pro. And what I like about this case is, number one, you're getting a little bit more protection than the Mag Easy case here, so it's a full-fledged case, and again, I like full-fledged cases. So you can see you get all that protection all around the case as I give you the 360 bird's eye tour here. Get a nice amount of front lip protection, a nice amount of camera protection as well on the back, and you're getting that aramid fiber, and that just screams premium in my eyes. Definitely a very nice premium feeling case when you pick it up. What I like about this design as well is you can see you have this TPU material on the sides here, making it a very comfortable and grippy case to hold. So again, the Pataka Mag Easy Case 3 is one of my favorites when it comes to a premium feeling and protective case at that. If you guys want a little bit less, less of that protection and a thinner case, check out the Mag Easy Case 3. But the Pro model definitely is pro in terms of more protection and in terms of giving you a nice TPU feel on the top layer here. So one of my favorite cases overall is definitely the Pataka case. Now the next one we're gonna take a look at is also from Mouse, and this is their Limitless 5 case in, in Walnut. And this is a case that I reach for more often than not, so this is gonna get my award for a premium case, just because you're feeling this nice wood material, this wood grain on the back, and it's not just a simple top layer of wood. The whole case feels premium. The whole case is very nicely designed. So you can see that front lip protection, definitely on point. And what I like about this case is you have these built-in grooves here for grippability. They're on both sides and it goes right where your palm is. So when you pick up this phone, you're, you're getting a lot of nice grippy, grippy feeliness with this case. So again, you're not only feeling this nice material, this wood grain on the back, the walnut, but you're also getting the built-in grooves. You also have a lanyard hole if you guys like lanyard. And you also get that nice same funky type of protection for your camera which I really like and just a slanted slanted cutoff for the walnut before it reaches the plastic again is a nice design choice overall. It's one of my favorite cases so in terms of a premium case this gets my top award just because of the premium real wood feel real wood look. This is only going to get better over time as well. It hasn't really got all that scratched up and I use this case quite a lot so definitely a nice premium case. Now finally, let's move on to the last section before I go ahead and tell you which top three cases I use on a daily basis. And that's gonna be the more protective type of cases, those cases that you're gonna use every day and, and really not have to worry about protection. Now my runner-up award goes to the OtterBox Defender. A lot of people like belt clips, so if you like a belt clip, the OtterBox Defender is the way to go. It's also a three-parter case, if you will, so you have this soft, soft kind of TPU material. You get this frame design, so you're actually encasing your entire device, giving you the most amount of protection. Now, I'm not gonna put this frame on, guys, and the only reason it gets the runner-up award is because it doesn't work with tempered glass. These, these framed case designs always crack the glass after some time. So I really don't wanna ruin my tempered glass. It's a white stone, and it's a little bit expensive, so I'm not about to ruin my glass. I've done tests, and I know, I know that's what's gonna happen in about two, two days to a week, but I like this design, and for those of you that don't use tempered glass, maybe you use a PET protector, maybe you don't use any type of tempered glass, the OtterBox Defender is gonna give you the most protection overall, 100% faux show, and you also get these flaps to kind of keep dust and whatnot out of your ports. So the OtterBox Defender is always a nice favorite. Another runner-up, and the only reason it's a runner-up is because it's not really MagSafe compatible, just like the Defender isn't is their commuter case, but I definitely have always liked the commuter case. It's a nice nice in-between of premium and a heavy-duty type of case all in one. You're getting a lot of nice protection. So you can see that camera protection on the back. You're getting, getting a decent amount of camera protection. And your front protection, of course, is on point. This is the commuter after all. They know what they're doing. This is one of their cases they've been making for, I'm gonna say, decades and decades. So you get a nice feeling case. You get ridges on the side. You get a little bit of little bit of ridged action here that not only helps with the grip but also helps to keep your phone on the table. So again, I like the commuter case. It's just not MagSafe compatible so that's the reason I don't use this as often as I should. It's always been one of my favorites personally on any device I get. I always pick up a commuter. Feels really nice and you also do get that two-parted design so you get a little bit more protection. You have that shell, the outer shell, and then you have the TPU. So these are my two runner-ups, guys, from OtterBox. But a case that you guys should not sleep on, I gotta come back to Nomad once again. And this is their rugged case in forest green, as I like to call it. Now, what I really like about this rugged case from Nomad is you're getting a nice, a nice amount of protection on the back here. You can see that the corners got a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a bump, a little bit more of raisivity. 
and that's really going to help if you drop your phone and it faces on its on its back you're really going to get a lot a lot of nice protection there but i like the two two-toned action this i like this color they even have an agent orange color which i'm really excited about but i think the, the rugged nomad case is a case that you guys should not sleep on it's one of my favorite cases Again, it just feels really premium. The, the whole case feels really premium. You get a little bit extra bumper protection on the top here. And you also do get this kind of, kind of channel, I'm going to call it, on both sides, just making it a very, very comfortable case to hold. Your button has ridges as well, so you can always differentiate the sides. You can see, you can see the power button has those ridges, so when you pick it up, you know this is the power button. It feels really nice in the hand as well. So I like this rugged case. I think you're getting a lot of nice protection there. Again, look at that camera protection. Now the only thing that I would say, maybe in the next iteration Nomad, give us a little bit more front lip protection. Maybe kind of beef it up like the commuter case. Just give us a little bit more because I, I think it's a little bit on the, on the, on the slimmer side of, of front lip protection, if you will. But it's still going to protect your device if you kind of drop it and it falls like that. You're still going to have that front lip protection. And the back is definitely well protected again. You can see those, those corners got a little bit more, a little bit more heftiness to them. And another thing I like about the Nomad Rugged case is because you have those extra, extra bumpered, bumperedness, it stays flat on the table. So it's not going to rock about. Definitely a nice design when it comes, when it comes to this rugged case with different back colors available. You're always going to find one that's going to suit your flavor, suit your needs. So don't sleep on this case once again, guys. Definitely one of my favorites. But when it comes to the ultimate in protection, you got to go back to Case Defy. This is their Bounce Series case, and they're claiming about 20 feet of drop protection, which I think is absolutely insane. I wish I could try that drop protection out, guys, but I'm a smaller channel. I buy my devices, and I'm not about to try and try and lose one over a, over a drop test. But I mean, if you just take a look at that front lip protection, you're getting a really nice amount of front lip protection. And these corners are just gangster. You can see the extra gangsterness on these corners. So I have no doubt that if I drop it from 20 feet, I'm going to leave that up to the professionals. I'm going to leave that up to Case Defy themselves to do their own drop tests. You're really going to get a lot of nice protection. Now the back camera protection isn't as beefy as I, I thought it would be for a 20 foot of drop protectionness. But again, those cameras are protected. So you can see that right there. You can see that gangster cornerness, that gangster bounce on that corner. So again, if you're looking for the ultimate in a, in a rugged type of case that you're never going to have to worry about, maybe you just want to buy one case for, for any situation. And you can customize this. So if you want to put a different design, maybe you want to go camo with it. You can put a camo back. And if I just show you what it might look like, that would be super awesome in my opinion. Again, check out Case Defy's website. Thousands and thousands of designs. If you want one case to rule them all, the bounce case would be that. Premium, protective, sleek, stylish, all in one package. Bounce case is where it's at. So this gets my award for probably a couple categories. Number one, premium. Number two, rugged. Number three, kind of a clear case. This is a clear option. So I think you're getting, you're getting all three categories in one, just in one case. So that's it when it comes to all of my cases, guys. Let me tell you now which cases I use on a daily basis and try and guess which ones they'd be. So pause the video and let me know down in the comments below and then we're gonna see if you guys were right. But I'm gonna give you my top three right now. If you find me in the street on New York City and you say, hey Jabber, what case you rocking? Chances are I'm gonna be rocking one of these three. And it's in no particular order, guys. Number one, I reach for the mouse walnut case. This is hands down one of the cases that I use most on a regular basis. It's just a premium feeling case. No matter where you are, if you're out in that fancy bar, you're definitely going to look premium and stand out with this walnut case. I know that sounds a little silly. I'm kind of just poking jokes and whatnot, but this is definitely one of my favorite cases. Hands down, five out of 10 times I'm using this mouse case. The next one you'd probably find me rocking. Again, I got to go back to mouse. And before you guys start typing that this is sponsored by mouse, this is not sponsored by any case. I'm just doing this to help you out. And I'm just doing this because I'm a case enthusiast. I love cases and I love showcasing my beautiful device. So I always reach for this, this clear option. Number one, I just like the black, the piano black that goes all around the, the edges. I think it's just a nice design overall. Now again, Pivot would have been that clear case I reached for if that mag ring was fixed, but it is what it is. So the mouse clear is definitely the, definitely the case that I reach for most often. And then finally, the third case that I reach for I got to go to Case Defy for their Ultra Impact. I really like the amount of protection that you get from this case. I really like these, these reinforced bumpers on the side. I really like the snugness. I really like the premium feel. 
I think the Ultra Impact is just an awesome design and I think it's just a very well made case. It's something that I've, it's something that's really impressed me. I like the Ultra Impact again. I think you're getting a premium case. I like the specs of paint I'm going to call them on the side. I don't like that it says this case is made from recycled material, but it is what it is. The specs of white look really nice. You also get a really good amount of protection. You get that design flair with that kind of tire thread, I'm going to call it, on the corners. So overall, I think it's a case that I reach more often than not. It's good for the gym, it's good for walking, it's good for hiking, any situation it's good for. So with all this being said, I'm not putting any of these cases down. I reach for various cases over time. I might want to go thin sometimes, I might want to go leather. I might want to go to the forest green. I might want to just go for a kind of a framed bumper type of case. I got a lot of cases, thankfully. I'm very appreciative, so I change them out quite often. But my top three, once again, would be these three right here. If I had to do a top four, oh man, if I had to do a top four, guys, I think I would go for the Pataka Mag Easy Case Pro. Who doesn't like a nice aramid fiber case? And you're getting that full all around 360 type of protection. So there's kind of a, a fourth one that I'm going to throw in there. If I had to choose again, I'd go for the Forest Green Rugged Case. I got to stop myself because I'm just going to keep adding all my favorites back on top. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'll catch you in another video.